Welcome to the GUC News. First, with the headlines. GUC participates in Germany at Ozhar Park activity event. GUC students to join Google Online Marketing Challenge. Home Robot Kicker, now officially unveiled. Google introduces Songza to play music. Warm six months ever since 1880. Harry Potter author G.K. Rowling denies new novel rumors. Leonardo DiCaprio donates 2 million to Ocean Conservation Group. GUC has participated in Germany at Ozhar Park activity event organized by the Embassy of the Federal Republic of Germany to Cairo. The event was held on November 1st at Ozhar Park to discover the diversity of German-Egyptian cooperation and to know more about the work of the German institutes, companies and initiatives in Egypt. The attendees enjoyed outdoor activities, among them listening to the live performance of the Egyptian Sahara Band and the German Chantal and Bukavini Club Orchestra. GC students are invited to participate in the international competition Google Online Marketing Challenge GOMC to gain hands-on digital marketing knowledge through an in-classroom experience. The Google Online Marketing Challenge, which is open to students of all majors and focuses on online marketing of small to medium-sized businesses, set a deadline for students' registration 22 April 2015 and professor registration on 8 April 2015. In the challenge, student teams along with their professors identify a business or non-profit organization that has a website but has not used AdWords in the last six months. AdWords refers to the column of sponsored links at the top and right of a user's search results on Google. With a 250 AdWords advertising budget provided by Google, students develop and run an online advertising campaign for a business or non-profit organization over a three-week period. The teams that develop and communicate the most successful campaigns win prizes including trips to Google offices. Have you ever dreamed of a wire-free home where digital content could be anywhere without screens or black boxes spreading around? If you're interested in some seriously inventive and powerful computer hardware, you're going to want to check out the Kiker. Kiker packs a projector 360 degrees speaker, video camera, a powerful video projection system that moves up and down at 90 degrees, microphones, camera, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi connectivity, a terabyte of local storage, and sensors to keep track of temperature, humidity, air quality, and CO2. And above all, it has wheels and is remote controllable. Kicker allows you to project movies and images, listen to music, browse the web, make video calls, play video games, and even create home decoration. Have you heard of Songza? It's a music application Google purchased earlier this year and will be available for Android, iOS and even the web. Depending on what time it is or what you might be doing at that moment, the application Listen Now page will provide a colorful list of activities like working out, getting ready for work, sleeping or studying. This will perfectly match your daily routine and mood. The last six months have been the hottest since humans started keeping track of global temperature in 1880, according to NASA. September came at the end of a record-breaking six months. April, May, June and August of this year were all also the warmest on record, and July came in at fourth hottest. That means that the current period is the warmest ever experienced by human civilization, and things will just keep getting warmer. At the same time, humans are doing a poor job of slowing that trend. Beyond that point, many experts agree that the world could see a disastrous series of climate change effects, including widespread floods, fires, storms, famines and extinctions. Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling has denied the rumors that saying she finished a new romantic novel. Newspaper reports claim that Rowling had been celebrating the book's completion in London Bar, but the allegation proved false. Rowling posted a series of messages on Twitter to reveal the truth for her fans. She said she's only halfway through her current book, which isn't a romantic novel. The English writer is busy working now on the follow-up to her first adult book, 
the casual vacancy, released under her name in 2011 and sold over 1 million copies in the first week of its release. She has published two crime novels since The Cuckoo's Calling and The Silk Worm. The Wolf of Wall Street star Leonardo DiCaprio has announced that his foundation will donate $2 million to Oceans 5 to fight against illegal fishing and set up marine reserves in the world's five oceans. The 39-year-old superstar plans to contribute $7 million to a variety of marine conservation initiatives over the next 24 months. He also gave a long speech about the global warming crisis at the United Nations Climate Summit in September, after being named a United Nations Messenger of Peace, telling the audience that if nothing is done about climate change, we will surely perish. DiCaprio stressed on the fact that climate change needs to be fought by individuals, businesses and politicians. This is the end of our GSC News, hope you enjoyed it and please stay tuned on our GSC TV. And if you want to know more, please follow our Facebook fan page GUC Media Production Center and watch our videos. Thank you so much for watching.